How's it going? Um, welcome to my pop-up class where I'm going to show you how to make homemade calcium supplements out of eggshells. Um, so this is live recorded on my Instagram right now. I'm waiting for people to show up and then I'll jump right in. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, how you go? How are you going? How you doing? <laughs> in other words that I don't have. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to turn all of your leftover eggshells um, into a homemade calcium supplement. Now, I prefer to get my calcium from dairy, but if I was to choose a second option, if I was lactose intolerant or if I just wanted to add in some additional um, calcium to making sure that I was getting um, enough, right um, and I didn't want to use the store-bought stuff that's jam-packed full of fillers and non bioavailable calcium that's made from rocks you know um, limestone anyhow I would opt to start saving my eggshells now let's be honest even if you own chickens eggs are expensive because the feeds gotten more expensive and if you're buying your eggs from the store my goodness it's like eight nine where i'm at i'm in rural northeast oregon so a food desert already i've seen eggs going for 14 15 dollars for a dozen so you want to you want to make that egg give you the most nutrition possible and if you save your egg shells you can do just that so what i want you to do is when you crack your egg all you're gonna do is you're gonna give it a good rinse wash out the membrane put it upside down on a towel let it dry out till the next day and then pop it in a bag basically I wait till this bag is filled up and then I put my eggshells on a tray and I put it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes that's it You'll see lots of stuff online where they tell you lower temperatures for longer times, but I really like and really suggest using 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes because that is hot enough to kill any bacteria that might have grown um, if you didn't get all the membranes out, right? Because it's prone to that or if you didn't rinse it well enough. If you bake this at a really high temp, everything's dead. So you've baked your eggs. And I didn't want to make everybody sit here and watch me bake my eggs, <laughs> my eggshells. So I pre-did that earlier in the day, but I, it did only take 10 minutes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so you're going to take your eggshells that have been baked in the oven. And I want you to know that everything in me is fighting just going smash. <laughs> Maybe if I didn't use a, a pizza tray that had a bunch of holes in it, I would. So I'm going to be in a bowl and do it over a bowl. So I'm just going to give these a little bit of a pre-crunch. And I put gloves on, not because I think my hands are dirty or that this is dirty, but it shows kind of sharp um, on a good day, and it's even sharper once you've dried it. But do you see how easy that crumbles, right? Now, obviously, you can't... Um, you can't be eating it in this way, right, when it's this crumbly. It's super satisfying, though. If you like to crunch things, <laughs> it's fantastic. So, basically, you're going to crunch up all your shells. And then you have two options here. You can put this in um, a coffee grinder, or you can go with, like, the old-school method of mortar and pestle, but, you know... I'm a firm believer, like, I have that, but also I have this, <laughs> which will take some work off of my body. So really, you're just going to smash up your eggs. You're going to put them in your coffee grinder. You could probably try to use a food uh, processor, but I don't know. I've never used that, and I don't think it would get as powdered, right? This is meant to really powder stuff, and maybe a little bit more. So now I'm going to powder this up. If I can get that to work okay let's pretty well powdered 
your body can and will digest this, but I, I just like to make sure that there's no like real sharp bits or pieces in there. Okay, so now you could, if you really wanted to, you could, you could run this through like a fine mesh sieve and then it would be like really even right like any tiny pieces that were too big to get through there would be discarded and then you could you know act accordingly and just have the powder to work with well the thing about eggshells is that it's really bioavailable calcium and calcium people think about it for bones right it's great for bones but did you know it's critically important for your nervous system and that women need more calcium than men and that if you're stressed out you need even more you really really need lots of calcium if you are living with stress but if you get the pills from like the store you buy it's usually made out of like um calcium carbonate which is made from limestone and i'm not saying it doesn't have a time and place and that it wouldn't work for some people but it's not overly bioavailable but when we put calcium into our body that isn't bioavailable what can happen is it goes places it shouldn't like your arteries your body can't shuttle it to your bones it gets stuck in your arteries and then plaque builds up and then a blood clot forms around that plaque and then when it you know can turn into a stroke or a heart attack um, and so real bioavailable calcium is important now I I really like this as an option and you can take it just as is and um, you can add this powdered eggshell um, for your calcium supplement to like a smoothie or like yogurt or whatever but I like to take these gloves off I like to turn it into capsules because it's just easier that way for me to remember to take it and I'm getting roughly the same amount each time. Um, so I've got this, I've got this little cute encapsulating machine. It was like 19 bucks, right? Um, I've got a big industrial commercial one in my apothecary for capsuling pills, but this will do. So I've already got it preloaded with my capsules because again, I did not want to make you watch me struggle. <laughs> with every little thing so you're going to take your calcium powder that you have made out of your baked eggshells and you're going to put it into your little encapsulation mabob thing here again if you don't have one of these it's totally fine it's totally fine just to use um you know to add this to your smoothies it's not gonna like you might feel a little gritty. <laughs> you could mix it in with some yogurt and, and drink it down, things like that. Um, but I, and if you're gonna go that way, I would make sure that you are putting it through a fine mesh sieve to get the extra big pieces out. Um, and I'm gonna pack it down so I can get a little bit more in there. All right excess off here and now I'm gonna put my top and I'm gonna go boop. and in theory doing things live is risky <laughs> get it to push down there it goes push it down and now I've got calcium pills I'm just gonna take them out in the cap because that is easier. Right? Ta-da! I just made my own calcium supplement. And, you know, with the cost of eggs, I wouldn't say it's necessarily cheap, but it's kind of free if you were just gonna throw away those eggshells anyways, right? And it's bioavailable. And now I'm gonna take a little jar you want to make sure that you, if you have capsules or even just the calcium powder, I would store it in a jar because this calcium is going to be prone to absorbing moisture. And if you put it in these capsules, they'll, uh, they'll want to absorb the moisture as well. So it's important to know that if your calcium levels are low and you're working on building your calcium levels up or if your vitamin D level is low and you're working on vitamin D levels building up you really need magnesium you really ma need magnesium it goes um, calcium magnesium vitamin D 
right? Calcium helps you utilize magnesium, but magnesium helps you put the calcium into your bones where you need it, right? But if you don't have magnesium, <laughs> you can't make your own vitamin D within your body, which is actually a hormone that's made of cholesterol, right? And so it's just a fantastic way to make your own calcium supplement to support your nervous system to make sure that even if you do eat dairy unless you're eating a lot of it throughout the day and if it's highly pasteurized like most dairy available is anymore it might not have as much bioavailable calcium as you like or you might not be getting enough so you could take two or three of these a day and just know that you're giving your body a little bit more calcium and look that made i didn't even put all the pills in there this made for it this made like 25 or something like that pills I'm not gonna count the slots <laughs> but I mean and I only did one little run of of these pills I still have well, not that one I still have a bunch of powder in there right and I still have all of these eggshells to process <laughs> um, and so you could end up with just saving the eggs from a couple dozen cartons, you could end up with enough calcium supplements for like two months if it's just you, you know? And it's just a really fantastic way um, to support our health, our nervous system, our bone density, you know, our stress levels, our magnesium, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and how easy was that? Remember, I just baked these eggs at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. And then I smashed them up in a coffee grinder. You could also use a mortar and pestle if that's all you have. And then I used my encapsulating machine, which was like 20 bucks and some capsules to go with it. And I store them in a jar. Now you could also, again, add this to smoothies or things like that, mix it into a little bit of yogurt and drink it. But I'll say it again, if you're going to do that, I want you to run this through like a finer mesh sieve or something to get any of the slightly bigger pieces that didn't go into like a full powder. Because you can see there on the bottom where the pieces are bigger and some of them are smaller, right? I think if you kept working at it and you kept straining it, you could keep blending it and get it all down to like a perfect powder. But that was so, so easy to do, right? You are absolutely smart enough to do that and get some more calcium in your body without having to ingest more dairy in case you're intolerant or whatever. And you know, you were just gonna throw those eggshells away. So somebody asked in the comments, um, did I wash my eggshells first? Yes, again, um, I wash them after I crack them out. And these are the unbaked ones. I wash them to get the membranes out and then I let them fully dry. And then I just store them up in a bag until I have enough to do a whole tray's worth, right? Um, and then you don't even have to, um, you don't even have to do like, this much at once you could then after you bake these you could just store them until you're ready to use them there's no moisture left in these at all um and of course people also use coffee grounds for like um or not coffee grounds <laughs> my brain thinking of the coffee grinder people also use um eggshell for like if you put eggshells in your tomato plants when you plant them it'll help it not have like end blossom rot you know it just gets more calcium into your soil people use it to brush their teeth for whitening you can use it mixed with like coconut oil to like exfoliate your skin there are a lot of ways to use this um, so somebody said do the eggs need to be organic and not from the store no you can use whatever eggs you want and when you're baking them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit it's gonna kill any bacteria that may be on the store-bought eggs right and you're washing them as well um, but yeah you know it's calcium is calcium is calcium um, in this form, no matter what type of egg shell it comes from. So that was easy and you're definitely smart enough to make your own calcium powder supplements from egg shells you save. So if you like my random pop-up classes, if you like my random ramblings and shaking egg shells in front of you, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications and share. Sharing is important because it helps other people realize that they are smart enough to do this too. If you're watching me on YouTube, come find me on Instagram. If you're watching me on Instagram, come find me on YouTube. I share all kinds of stuff on both 
different platforms. I've started doing my live Q&As for health on YouTube, and I do my live pop-up classes on Sunday on Instagram. I'm trying to keep it balanced, right? Um, and if you want to support my capacity to teach freely, consider following the link in my bio or the description, depending on where you're watching this, and call something home from my shop. It's exclusively how I support my ability to exist, as well as continue to teach freely. So, thank you so much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye!